What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Your Refinement. My name is Chris, and I make a full-time living selling stuff online. This is my version of Motivation Mondays. I'm going to give you guys a bunch of ideas for process improvement from my mastermind calls. And hopefully, you guys find this useful. If you do, please let me know in the description below with a like and a comment and a subscribe. And as always, my videos are brought to you by my own reseller field guide, a guide to helping you make $500 a month, $1,000 a week, or $2,000 a week. There's a link in the description below. YouTube is the special coupon code to get 50% off. That's YouTube in all lower caps. Okay, let's get into it. So the first concept that was brought up and is pretty common and I think is critical is sleep hygiene. And this, these are things that you do to protect your sleep. I actually thought it was literal hygiene, so I added to my habit list, take a shower before sleep. I totally did not understand what that meant. So thank you, Michelle, for pointing that out to me. It's more like... Um, having a routine before you go to sleep. Maybe you listen to white noise. Maybe you listen to rain. Maybe you do some journaling, reading, ideally stuff that's not technology related. And if you do not go to bed early enough, you are going to be groggy the next day and immediately go after junk food or start buying things you shouldn't, uh, you have no business buying because the profit is too low or it's too convenient. You end up doing really easy stuff if you're too tired. Um, so you need to be well rested so that you can actually accomplish the hard things that you need to get done the next day so sleep hygiene may be number one on this list today next thing would be um focusing on an unfair advantage i always talk about this but i um want to be giving a specific example there's a gentleman in my group that has seller fulfilled prime so he can actually fulfill items without having to send them in the fba this is a great advantage and it's not available to all sellers so whatever you have that's unfair to you, start using that. And this is where I think the the misconception of reselling is. It's not easy to resell because there are people with unfair advantages competing against you in the same category. So maybe they have a cheaper supply, easier way to ship, cheaper way to ship, whatever. So you need to focus on your unfair advantage. Nobody wants to play fair because you're playing against people who have a significant advantage over you. So you need to focus on what you can do better than everyone else. Okay, next is, I didn't recognize that you could remove the snooze feature from your alarm on your phone. Um, I've For years, I've been using about eight minutes extra in the morning by just hitting the snooze one time and then getting up out of bed. Um, that being said, I didn't know you could just remove that option. So now I sleep 10 minutes later, just set my alarm 10 minutes later and I get a little bit more sleep and I just jump out of bed. I want to recommend Mel Robbins' book, The Five Second Rule. Um, she really was motivating to me because she was um, having difficulty taking care of her kids. Um, their family was in bankruptcy. The husband was cheating, I believe. And, and all these things were all happening at the same time. And um, she was just hitting the snooze button over and over and over again, not dealing with her life. And that just hit me. And so she came up with the five second rule, which is five, four, three, two, one, get shit done. Basically get your ass out of bed and get to work. And if you don't do something within that five second window, you're going to end up doing nothing. So I hate this because it is true. So if you can get going within five seconds, you can use that momentum to just continue to keep going. So um, I'm also a lean practitioner. So five, four, three, two, one was too long for me. So now I just do three, two, one, go. And I can just get out of bed. And I know that if I wait longer than that three seconds, I'm going to end up doing nothing. So if you guys want to download that book for free, you can go to um, Audible. I have a description or a link in the description below for a free audiobook if you want to sign up for their trial. Um, if you end up not liking Audible, you can keep the book and you can help me continue to build my channel. So if there's any recommendations or a book that you want to listen to, you can help me out by signing up for that trial. And if you don't like the service, again, you can just cancel and keep that book. Okay, next is, there's a gentleman in my group who, uh, actually, I think it might be a lady. Regardless, they are timing how long each category takes. And this is phenomenal. What a great idea. So if you are buying a VCR that sells for $50 on eBay or Amazon, that may not actually be worth it if you need to go home, test every button on the VCR, find the appropriate remote, figure out the right box to ship it in, figure out how to box it properly so it doesn't break along the way, be able to absorb the return cost. 
even if you get the VCR for free, it may not be worth your time. If let's say you can list 20 pairs of shoes in an hour, you're going to make more money selling shoes than you are a VCR that you got for free. Right, So you don't know that until you start looking at how long each category takes you. Phenomenal tip. Um, we were talking about thermal printers. So thermal printers are huge. I use a Dymo right now and a Zebra. Um, but I also like Rolo. So I would say Dymo is the cheapest entry level way into, into thermal printing. You can save the time of taping your label on your box, which I did for the first year. Um, I didn't realize how much money I was wasting in tape. I thought it was cheaper. I'm like, oh, I don't need to buy the printer. I already have a printer. But in the long run, you should get a thermal printer, in my opinion. Okay. Um, there is some talk in the group about Kanban cards. This is a lean Kaizen concept where you um, enter on a, a hard card what needs to be done at a specific station, how long something has been there, who's responsible for it. And you may want to look that up. If you want to, if you're into process improvement, it's K-A-N-B-A-N. -A -N, and um, those cards work great for improving your performance. And also, um, a person in the group switched to a shop vac versus sweeping. That's something I might consider because um, I sweep every evening right now, but um, I kind of want to wet mop the facility because there's a lot of dust in my reselling community. There's a lot of cardboard and I'm breathing that in working here. So... I may want to do something that's like a wet vac or something, although I am standing on cement, so I'm not sure the exact procedure with that, but I do think there's a lot of dust in here, and I would like to reduce my my health, um, I mean, reduce the exposure for my health. And if you guys are finding these these videos useful, please let me know by liking, subscribing, or just leaving a comment, because these are not as exciting as haul videos or what did I find garage selling. I can make those videos and when I do, those are the highest viewed things that I make, but they're just not as fun for me. I would rather talk about how to make your business work and that's kind of nerdy and I'm okay with having a smaller YouTube channel because I don't want to do that. So um, if you guys really want me to do haul videos, please let me know in the comment sec so section and I'll probably still ignore you because I, I don't want to make those videos all the time. They're just so tedious. Like uh, if I tell you to look out for Fisher Price wagons, how are you going to look for that? Like that's, that's not that actionable. Like it depends on where you live. Okay. A couple more tips. One tip that was brought up was scheduling your customer service time. What a wonderful improvement idea. I don't, I just sometimes during the day I um, get interrupted and I, I solve somebody's problem and it derails me for like 20 minutes to an hour solving one person's problem. So I had now switched that to the first thing that I do in the day and then I just don't do it until the next day. So um, I had somebody else doing my customer service and that resulted in like 30 negative feedback. So I'm going to do a little bit of help with that, but I only want to do it as soon as I get to work. So that should help a lot. Okay. And then finally, um, we're going to talk about two things. The first thing is you may want to hire a professional organizer to come to your house. There are people that do that. Um, Marie Kondo is very popular. And you can hire people to come to your house and declutter, tidy up things, help you get rid of paper, clothing. That seems very fruitful for people in my group. So if you guys want to try that professional organizer, go for it. And then my last thought for the day is dimensional shipping. This is not my favorite topic, but a great topic. If you um, have all the knowledge on how to ship something the cheapest way, you have a really good advantage over other people. And there are big businesses that just exist because they have a little bit of a shipping hack. This is why, in my opinion, Poshmark is just taking over the kicks market. Just because you can ship a five pound pair of shoes for six seventy nine, that is bonkers. Okay, so that means on a fifty dollar pair of shoes, which is like sort of the where I aim for for pre owned, I like to buy for ten, sell for fifty. Why is there a crying baby in my... Um, anyway, the um, buy for 10, sell for 50 model for pre-owned on Poshmark. Poshmark charges a 20% fee, which makes it... Um, so of the 50, you'd only net 40. But the 679 shipping, it's almost as if on eBay, if you sold it for 40 plus shipping, you would have to... That would be sort of the weight for a four or five pound pair of boots. 
But on Poshmark, that's it. You get your $40 on eBay, 40 plus shipping. Now you also have to pay the eBay and PayPal fee and if you use promoted listings and if you have a store subscription, that's a lot. Maybe you're only netting $33. So you actually net $7 more on a $50 transaction on Poshmark. Are you kidding me? That's like insane. Just because there's no proprietary discount for eBay. If I was in charge of eBay, which that that's not going to happen, but um, my number one priority would be figuring out a proprietary shipping deal. So if, you know, work it out with the post office, and like, you know what? Any pair of shoes that fits in this box ships from eBay anywhere in the country, even Alaska for nine bucks, right? Boom. All these companies, people would switch models and switch only to eBay only to try to fit stuff into this nine, into this box that ships for nine dollars ebay would take over the world and it would crush it and i think you know what that is it's like calling a box company and calling um the, the post office at the same time and just coming up with a deal like if we really want to do something to compete against these chinese sellers that are selling stuff for a dollar free shipping or you want to compete against amazon that has crazy discounts and they're using their own shipping Amazon is now going to launch one day prime. I mean, I think they've launched it. That's insane. Come on, eBay. I really want to compete. So if you can't compete on speed, which you can't, the eBay fulfillment program is them outsourcing fulfillment to another third company. I don't like that either. It's like um, the global shipping program. It's somebody else handling your package and that costs money. It's not free. So that's just so behind. If eBay were to just come up with one proprietary shipping method, they're the second largest retail company online. How can the second largest company not be able to negotiate a proprietary shipping deal? Ah, <sighs> it fires me up. It fires me up because as soon as eBay launches that, it's going to blow up. Um, when I was at eBay corporate, they were talking about how viral this would be. I'm like, of course it would be viral. Imagine being able to stuff anything into this box and it ships for nine pounds. You guys can pull this off. I know you can do it because other companies have. Um, and the example I always use is when you ship a Poshmark package, it says on there, please don't return this because we have a deal with the post office number 444967, whatever their, their deal is with the post office to get that proprietary rate. If you have any issues, please call this number. And I'm like, yo, um, can someone get this phone number to the CEO of eBay? I'm pretty sure they would pick up the phone, the CEO of eBay called, and figure something out. And then it would take the software programmers four years to, in to integrate that in the eBay shipping. So we might as well get started that right now. We can get that on the, if we can get that going right now, then we actually have a chance of having that integrated in my lifetime. All right, guys, I'm super passionate. At one point, I was trying to get a job on the shipping team. I was like, how can I apply to work here and be on this team and just give you this amazing nugget that would transform eBay? Everyone and their mom would be walking around Walmart with this nine pound box looking for stuff, there's stuff in it to sell. It's so straightforward. Anything in this box ships for nine bucks instead of having to become a shipping expert to learn how to sell on eBay. I'm fired up, guys. Well, hopefully this is useful. This is a, a good form of Motivation Mondays for you. Please let me know. Otherwise, I won't continue to do this type of content. But again, uh, thank you so much for coming. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys are building an awesome resale business. I'll see you guys later. Take care.